Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Novus Beer Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a brand new product from Raspberry Pi, which is the Raspberry Pi Pico W. So let's check it out. Now this product is one of the latest lineups on the Raspberry Pi family, which is the Raspberry Pi Pico W. Now, obviously, you know the W stands for wireless, which is definitely what we needed on the Pico. Now this actually graduated from just an Arduino device to more of like an ESP device because it's got the wireless. To take a look at side by side between the regular Pico and the W, you could see that this new silver piece is installed where the logo used to be. That's just the Wi-Fi module. Now I'm really excited about this product because the main thing that was missing from the Pico was wireless. Uh, you see me do a couple of projects on this channel, mainly as an uh, automation tool, mouse clicker, or keyboard shortcut. They work fine, but now if you add wireless to the mix, you can turn this into more of a home automation or a sensor that you could place remotely. So yes, this was a much needed upgrade and I'm really excited for it. The price of a regular Pico is $4 and the new one is actually $6. So $2 more than the original price and then you get Wi-Fi. You could do so much more with this and because it's got a larger storage of 256 KB versus the ESPs where it's usually 32 KB, and you could do a lot more with it just because the extra storage sizes. Now, to get it to work, you just need to download the latest MicroPython library or the UF2 file and drop it in. It has all the new stuff with the networking as well as U request and a few others. So you're able to get the Wi-Fi working as soon as you receive this device and updating to the latest MicroPython. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of examples right here. All right, so here we have my Tawny up and I do have it in uh, Pico and the COM ID that I have, I mean COM port that I have. And in here, what we wanna do first is actually test out the network connection to see how well it performs. So I'm gonna import network and then WLAN, I'm actually gonna make this as network.wlan network.sta underscore if and then WLAN, we're gonna activate it. So active true. And from here, we're gonna connect to our wireless LAN. So we're gonna do WLAN.connect and this is where you will put down your wireless uh, information, the SSID and password. There we go. So now that it's connected, because it would have kicked back with an error, I'm gonna import UPIP because we're gonna download IPPREF. So we're gonna import that, UPIP.install. This is how you install modules for through PIP, if you guys are interested to know. Um, UIPERF3, right? That's what we're gonna be using. So now it's gonna download and install it to a lib folder. And doo -doo 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 -doo, just give it a second. There we go. If I refresh this folder, now I have a lib folder and inside UIPREF3. Now we're gonna run it. So I'm gonna import UIPREF3 and then UIPREF3 three dot client and I'm going to use the IP address that I'm currently running on uh, which is my desktop right over here so I'm just going to let that go and oh, I forgot to put in quotes and it should start spitting back with the mode so there we go And there we have it. Basically our speed, which is roughly around five, six. I've done this test before. I hit seven out sometimes. So uh, seven megabits per second, which is not too bad. Overall on this test, it says 5.5 uh, and 4.02. So that's the speed we're getting with the Wi-Fi. Actually, if I was closer to my Wi-Fi um, router, I probably would get a little bit higher speeds, but for a little tiny, um, device like the Pico, it's very similar. Actually, I think this performs faster than uh, ESP um, 11s. Now, next up, I'm gonna show you guys a website. So basically, now that this is over, I could actually just import a code that I wrote earlier. To go down the list, basically, it's the network socket time, the SSID and the password. It connects the same way that I just did before, which is WLAN connect, um, the HTML that I'm actually gonna write. And I just wrote the world 
word hello, but you can modify this. Hello, Pico Nova Spirit from Nova Spirit. And this will actually just release the HTML code when something connects. So we're gonna go through all the stuff, which is wait, check the status. If it's connected, then I will listen for uh, through any port on port 80, I mean, any IP through port 80 and then allow it to send the website over. And yeah, that is it. I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna save it onto the Raspberry Pi Pico for this one. And for this, I am actually gonna call this main.py. So this will be the first file it loads. There you go, main. And then now if I stop and then hit play again, now it has that new file and it spits out the IP address of the website that I need to load. So basically what I'm gonna do here on this browser is load into the website and it knows from which client it's loading from and exactly what the website is and what we typed in earlier. Now, a lot of functions are made through this type of uh, connection, which is if I was to turn on an LED or something, you would actually put in the port and then slash LED on if you make that function and they'll actually tell um, the Pico to flip whatever GPIO that you have it connected to, to flip that LED switch. Um, so a lot of home automation is done through this way as well, or MQTT, whichever way you choose. But this is basically fully working just like you would on an ESP11 or ESP uh, device. Now that is it guys. Honestly, I've been using ESP11s or ESP12s or e most ESP devices because of their wireless capabilities. So I was able to actually read um, temperatures or control a garage door or anything that I need through an ESP because of the Wi-Fi. Now with Pico, I'm actually gonna be able to do the same thing and I have more ideas for this. I actually have a product on hand right now which will complement this Pico W very well. So that video will be coming out in probably a week or two from now. So, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and also that notification button just so you know when that video is gonna be coming out. Anyway, that is it for me guys. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.